Now, another global concern for investors is what's happening in Europe, where banking officials are considering a U.S.-style monetary easing program. But will it work in Europe, and what are the risks? Steve Leisman has that story. Nobody knows what ECB President Mario Draghi and Fed Chair Janet Yellen talked about when they met last week in Jackson Hole. What's known is this. Europe is in the throes of a critical debate about whether to follow the U.S. down the path of an American-style quantitative easing program. The debate heated up after Draghi and Jackson Hole said that inflation and inflation expectations are falling and said he was concerned. He said the ECB's governing council, quote, will acknowledge these developments at its meeting next week. That in turn raised expectations for further action, if not next week, then in the months ahead. Former Fed Governor Rick Mishkin says, quote, they need to do shock and awe. They are so far behind the curve, end quote. But there are some potential problems. Europe, after all, is not the United States, and there could be political objections from Germany and other countries. Plus, rates are already very low in Europe. The idea of doing quantitative easing sounds good because it's they're doing something. Their economy is slowing. Inflation is a little lower than they would like. Let's do something. But if you look at the, the Treasury yields in Germany, Italy, Spain, most of them are at or below where the U.S. 10-year yield is right now. And so the, the, the question is, if you were to go and buy a lot of government debt in Europe, what would you possibly achieve? And the answer is probably not much. Will there be any benefit? According to economists, these are the ways QE is supposed to work. There's a credit effect which drives down interest rates, a portfolio effect which forces investors into riskier assets, and maybe most important of all, an expectations effect, convincing markets the central bank is all in on fighting inflation. But the dangers include capital misallocation, which forces investors to put money in places they may not be comfortable. When rates rise back up, that money could flee back to bonds and create a destabilizing decline in stocks. Question is whether the risk, a Japanese-style deflation in Europe that could last for decades, makes QE a gamble worth taking. That's certainly a choice Yellen made as she wholeheartedly supported QE in the United States. And it's not too far a stress to think that maybe, just maybe, that's what she told Draghi when they met last week. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.